Hi, welcome to another episode of Camp Kitchen Cooking King. I'm Tim Smith and I'm inside. That's right, we're at Leisure Fest. We're at the Thetford stand. <laughs> Where else would we be? So we're going to buy all of these amazing appliances. I'd love to take you through all of them because they are so smart, so easy to use and so very, very cool. Except for this one, which is quite hot. I'm going to make for you today one of the oldest recipes I've ever tackled. It's Welsh rarebit. It used to be called Welsh rabbit, but the people in Wales just said it was Welsh rabbit because, well, it wasn't. And the English got very upset with this and they changed the name to Welsh rabbit. It is so very simple to make, so very cool, and it tastes amazing. Let's just rip into it. Okay, low heat. We've got a little bit of plain flour, and I mean a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck him into the sauce pan, no stick saucepan, woohoo! That's all the plain flour we're using. We're gonna open a bit of butter. This is of course proper butter, salted, normal. This is what your grandparents and their great grandparents and everybody's grandparents ate, and you know what? They did all right. And I'm giving it a generous knob, okay? I'm gonna then, give it a little bit of a mix up. And what we're doing is we're browning the flour and the butter together. We are gonna fly through this recipe and it's all about not overdoing it. That is almost done. Now I've taken it off the heat. Normally I'm just a bit throw it in, but because this is a bit fiddly, I'm seriously gonna be using a measuring cup of cheese. Bang, in goes the cheese. Keen's mustard powder. Woohoo! I'm going to be popping in one teaspoon. In that goes. I'm now giving it a loving hit of paprika. I'm doing it by eye, but I'm not going too crazy. Pepper, of course. Wherever you travel, make sure you've got a full bottle of this stuff because seriously, I swear by it, I use it all the time and too much never hurt anybody. As you can see, a dollop. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm popping that back on the heat. This is the secret ingredient. Oh yeah, hello. Of course, Guinness doesn't travel well because it's normally drunk pretty quickly. One, two, three, and I'm serious, that's it. You will taste that coming through, um, as I will. Welsh rabbit is traditionally served on two bits of toast. We've got the uh, Thetford grill fired up, and the way this works is we're going to grill the bread on one side, and then what we're going to do is not grill the other side. So the, the base will be grilled. So basically, ah, there it is. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, what have you done? But it's all good. So we're smooshing it out to cover pretty much all of the bread as much as we can because it, this is going back under the griller to finish the process. Okay, here we go. Back under the griller. Look at that. Here we go. Now, this is Welsh rabbit, Kate. This is my offsider, Kate. She's going to be the guinea pig. This is a really old recipe and it contains no rabbit. Oh, that's delicious. Breakfast ordered. Let's have a go. I'm going to do it. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Yum. So that's Welsh rabbit for you. Stick on the uh, Go RV website, go through, uh, all the recipes are available. Go and look at our back catalogue, there's some great ideas there. Thanks for joining the Camp Kitchen Cooking King. Thank you, Thetford, for putting on what a great, what a great event. Brilliant work from the people that stuck right through. We'll see you next time here on Camp Kitchen Cooking King.